wait. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're back with another episode of Bits, Chris, and Halfwits. Welcome back to the Disaster Tour. We have all of our players here ready for some cow time. Cow time. Oh, I cow thought they were time. doing a group watch of the Chip and Dale movie. I'm down yeah. for that as well, you know? Well, what? hold up. I got the Island Fall server working. Aren't we going to play Island Fall instead of D&D? <laughs> Wait, what are, I was told this is a phasmophobia stream. So don't, don't even... <laughs> Isaac... Wait, are we not playing Among Us? <laughs> Isaac, don't even tempt me. Island because... Fall in character? Because I will absolutely play Island Fall instead of playing D&D. <laughs> I'll cry. I'll piss. Anyways, while our players uh, give me those dice rolls, we'll get everyone introduced. Mm, I love rolling dice. First we have... Could you be a little less enthusiastic about it, Baron? <laughs> <laughs> First we have Elliot Burning Oak, played by... It's a me, a Mario. Mario. I mean, I and then we have no, Lyra Dream Shadow, played by. Hello, I am One Rosie CS on the internet. And then we have that kid is hardcore goth, played by. <laughs> I guess that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Gentleman Ferret. Then we have News and Last Name Pendings, played by. <laughs> It's me, the Sky Tier. They're still doing the paperwork. I <laughs> uh, got lost in the system. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as the always magical, does. The magical mm -hmm. name system. All right. You didn't. You didn't roll yet. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I was no, I I was not notified that we had gone live, so I was trying to make an announcement in my Discord really quick. So I need, uh, I need you to get lower than a forty-four. Yeah. Well, ab you know, Sky. Well, absolutely understandable. This is also the channel that is the only one Mom! that I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Sky. <laughs> well, understandable that I didn't tell you I went live. This is also the only stream that I consistently go live at the right time for. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> This is even better because I didn't have my notebook last time, so I couldn't take notes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hold on, I want to see I... It's okay. What's going to be even better, chat, is a half hour into this when I posted Bits, Grits, and Half Woods TikTok. <laughs> Just while I'm, while, I'm, while I'm DMing. You know, that's how it be. That's when you know you're a content creator. Yeah. We've had a lot of stuff involving doors lately. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the amount of doors. And like, I'm on door TikTok now. I literally got a TikTok video talking about how to install a door. Ideal. I personally. That is amazing. It's becoming a thing. It's. I gotta become a big creator in the door community as well as the D and D community now. I think you need to make your own door. Dungeons and Dragons and doors. Like, it works we, really well. We have Dungeons wood outside. And we do have enough. We do have enough wood outside that I could reasonably build a door. We could a hundred percent build a door for funds. Just for funsies. And then we could no, no, for, for funds and sell the door as part of his stream. Oh, no, we can it. We're, it, we're gonna auction. We're gonna auction yeah, yep. a custom door. <laughs> custom. It's Prince and Halfwit themed. Door. Yep, mm -hmm. all of the characters are going to be engraved on it. Uh, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to be a custom Bitch, Chris, and Halfwood store, one-time use, because it's going to have the Bitch, Chris, and Halfwood logo on both sides, and then pinned between the panel sheets is going to be a breaching charge, so as soon as you install it, it explodes. God. Just, all you got to do is just fill <laughs> because the Because there is not, a, single, there the is not a single door in Bitch, Chris, and Halfwood that has survived. <laughs> Whenever somebody inevitably tries to kick the door, the door just explodes because there's tannerite inside. I will say, there is a huge trend in my D&D games of you guys just steamrolling monsters and, like, doing really well in fights and then encountering doors and being unable to process how to get through them. <laughs> yep. This is true. Uh, it's <laughs> just... not my fault. There's there's a level, I hope you guys know, just sitting here for the past three weeks and watching you guys attempt to solve riddles has harmed my soul. 
<laughs> like you gotta, I, you I, gotta I, think. We're all playing. Besides, like Lyra and Elliot, we're all like not the brightest characters. I, I know. I'm just and sitting I just here. actually can't do riddles in real life. <laughs> so. I, I, I've just been sitting here, and Steven's like a riddle. I was like, oh, I've heard this one before. I know the answer. It's like, oh, they'll figure it out in like ten minutes. Forty-five minutes That's later, the, hey guys, should we double back to a different direction? Oh God, me sit, me sitting there, like yeah, you know these guys, these guys do like difficult riddles every Friday, at least three of them, and they should be able to figure this out. <laughs> me sitting there, thirty-five minutes later, I have vastly overestimated my players and their ability to solve simple problems. <laughs> I really feel like Ferret has a point there in that. Uh, oh no, me, absolutely. Uh, News and Numb and Lulin are all low intelligence. Elliot is a in character slacker. <laughs> <laughs> Shark Cat got a cute upgrade. Let's too. take a look. <laughs> that is not then, Shark Cat. <laughs> that is a <laughs> depresso <laughs> image. Just I, I, I clicked on the wrong browser source and accidentally pulled up the image of Newton sitting in the high chair. <laughs> no, I'm sitting in Newton's chair. It's I, stunning. Piece of art. Which you I know, you... maybe valid for like where you guys are now. That could also. <laughs> oh, sure, Cat did get a cute upgrade. I I hope you guys are aware. Uh, PT and I uh, will chat about like DM things, and we got a different buddy of ours who's a. a very good dm and we'll sit there and chat and our buddy has repeatedly told us even in games that him and i play in to only to if you're gonna google D, &D riddles you only google D, &D riddles, riddles for kindergartners just yeah. just riddles for toddlers otherwise it takes too long during sessions yeah I will say the funniest riddle I've ever seen solved was there were a bunch of different... Sh it was like literally a shape puzzle where you had to take the shapes and you had to put them in the right shape thing. But <laughs> we were like level 18. So the wizard just polymorphed all the shapes into the right shape and stuck them in the hole. <laughs> nice. I mean, you know, fair enough. Yeah. 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 Alrighty. One of my players for my, my campaign are very good at riddles. And they were they were able to, to piece together word riddles like very very fast, and I was surprised. Maybe you need to bring him in as a consultant. I'll let you phone a friend next time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was Connor, so I'll just I'll just call Connor. Can you imagine? Can you imagine I let Nam pull pull like a gnome to solve the riddles out of the bag, <laughs> and then you guys just leave him in the dungeon? Oh, riddle gnome! Yeah, like y'all taking me home? Nope. <laughs> am I being, Enjoy your life. It's the Brendan Lee Mulligan. Am I being kidnapped? Oh no 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 no. Am I allowed to leave? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, news in no notes from last time. What yeah. is the what happened last time? Yeah, well, we we did. Nobody died, so that's good. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Um. We continued through the dungeon, encountered more puzzles that we struggled to solve um, while Lulin was uh, controlled by Maze Breaker. Uh, Maze Breaker got annoyed enough with us that he started giving us answers. <laughs> I'll say we were good at the puzzle, though, like the one with where we uh, where the water was going up. That is true. Like that is true. That well. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Nam, Nam has a scuba scuba diving suit now. We we made our way to uh, the treasury, and we fought a big nasty boy. <laughs> um, I used uh, Velkin's special uh, ability for the first time. Um, we wrecked that guy, to be honest, and. Took his shit. What little shit he had. It was a bunch of money. And um, a violin. <laughs> and a violin. He just wanted to make oh, yeah. music, but you only heard his screams. We uh we encountered a mimic and Nam gave it a sent uh, an intelligence giving taco. taco. 
And it was like, ah, oh, how can I help you? And then became Nam's armor. Um, you know, hopefully it doesn't to become stupid again and just eat you in one bite. But I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, and then I can't we walked out. To just out of nowhere, have to, have to attack Nam. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Amora just shoots out, wraps around Nam, and you guys think she's trying to kill him again, but she's actually trying to save him from the mimic that is currently eating his chest. Yep. Right, yeah. And then, uh, we walked out into Koboldia. The end. Yep, you guys are actually in a tunnel right outside the city. <laughs> or you guys are in a building right outside the city. We almost... Uh, Walked into Koboldia. Oh, also we found, um, the guy whose dungeons it is diary. And it read itself in our minds. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we took it. I'm sure he's gonna thank us for that one. Yep. That was my very in-order summary of what happened. <laughs> That it was, was a, good. It was good. That was about that was about as as in order chronologically as a season of Doctor Who. <laughs> so so it's fairly watchful is what you're saying. Wibbly wobbly <laughs> tiny wimey stuff. Alrighty. I mean, so with all the multiverse movies coming out, and I think you're pretty on par with it. Yeah, technically, remember, guys. According to the multiverse, this could be a D this could be an MCU multiverse somewhere. Uh, Disney fund my D and D game. When do we get a? <laughs> when do we get a superhero themed D and D? Yeah, I'm working on it. I found a system. Really? Yep. Oh, what system? Uh, it's called Masks. It's a uh, powered by the apocalypse system. Hmm. What oh boy. To the 15 other campaigns. I have so many campaigns, so little time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so you guys find yourself in, like, this old, decrepit house that clearly nobody has lived in for some time. Well? Hey, uh... Um... We and there's not a map for this, right? Uh, no. Okay. Guys, I think this is our new home. Nobody's living here. <laughs> and it seems about time to settle down. Wait, are we homeless? Like, tech, I am, oh. I think. <laughs> well, if you are, I am. So. <laughs> I mean, the, the tree <laughs> fell down, so I think, yeah, you and I are homeless. I've been homeless. Oh. Hey, uh, little mimic friend guy, do I need to, like, feed you and stuff? Like, how do you work? He doesn't respond uh, he... because he can't talk while he's your yeah. armor. While well, you are literally in his mouth. Yes. He can't like he can't like form a mouth that like shoots out. How how am I gonna feed him? Guess I'll have to figure that out. What? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'll know when you know. I guess I will. Um. My brain went a lot of direct uh, directions with that concept, and I'm just not going to voice any of them. That's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have often found that... No, train of, train of thought gone. <laughs> well, how is everyone feeling, I guess? I'm... Th I have a wound, for sure. I thought you guys long rested before you left the tunnel. Did we? I'm pretty no, sure. No, we decided to long rest out here because dangerous. I thought we dangerous. short rested. I, I think we short rested. You're right. Yeah, just, just hit dice. So, yeah. I'm doing okay right now, but. I am okay. Not fantastic. If the tank is fine, great. I'm <laughs> feeling pretty good. You know, you know, if you all would stop wandering up tiny hallways and getting attacked right away. Hey, I might be able I'm to, still in one know. piece. Yeah, and plus we had to go into the small way. What if we found that shiny things? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess we did in fact find shiny things, so. Well. 
I guess, do we want to try to... What is in this room? Um, first off. Uh, there's a couple of, like, broken pieces of furniture. There's a table. There appears, there is what appears to be a bed frame missing a mattress in the corner. Okay. So, and it does, um... Lots of, like... lots of cobwebs. The windows are boarded up. Okay, yeah, that was my question. Like, is it dusty and stuff? No one's been here in a while? Yes. Very. All right. Well, this, it doesn't look like anyone has been here in a while. If we did want to rest here... This seems like a good place to uh, take a nap. All right. I mean, it's gross, but it seems amongst, okay. Amongst Safe the enough. Disaster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, like I've definitely slept in worse. News that like sweeps a little of the dust with her tail. <laughs> Nam doesn't nice. even. Nam just lays in whatever cobwebs or whatever oh, no. <laughs> it's in the corner that he goes to. Should I make a tiny hut? Uh, yes, you can. Give me one second. Aurora just got sick. I have to clean it up. Uh -oh. oh, fun! Uh, poor thing. Oh, poor puppers. The dog's ruining our D&D &D sesh! Imagine. <laughs> hey. Imagine. Wow, I can't believe you'd go after the dog like that. I think she literally <laughs> drank water so fast that she made herself sick. Oh, poor babe. That's puppies for ya. That it is. How do we know Aurora oh. isn't some shape shifting dog? A mimic? Oh, she is. Oh. She 100 percent is. So I mean, the plan, right? We're going to have to use Nam to get to this guy. I mean, apparently, I'm some kind of celebrity here, so. Exactly, exactly. So, and he's for some reason been, you know, raised up uh, in a a cobalt society. Yeah, I'm really curious as to. I don't know, like, how they think it all went down. I think if you guys are ever, like, questioned on, on how it is to travel with me, just talk about how great I am. Okay, okay. I will, I will. Are you saying to lie? <laughs> what? <That's> rude. <laughs> Would you say it's a lie, Elliot? Well, the kid tries to steal everything we own. Every day. Stolen... He hasn't stolen from us, he just steals from other people. I mean, there was that one time. But <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> he hasn't stolen from us, Newton literally meeting Nam because he robbed her. Look, it, look, it, that's in the past. Uh, basically didn't have anything to steal at that point anyway. You know, most Minotaur things are too heavy for kobolds to carry, but... Listen, Elliot, I know that if I at least had a teacher, uh, I wouldn't have banished him. <laughs> All right, listen it here. True. It was yeah, I both know Malum deserved to be banished. We Why? actually don't, because we don't know the man at all. <laughs> You want to, uh, think, man's a bitch. We, look, I think that he deserved to be banished for like a minute and then come back, but then he just didn't come back. <laughs> we didn't know. Well, and now I, you've been antagonizing but, him. Well, no honestly, so Lyra, for all He's, I know, this guy manipulated you into banishing him. So. <laughs> I just. It was just a research project. <laughs> <laughs> look. It's fine. Uh, in, in fact, I should probably, like, you know, just let him know that uh, he's a shitlord. No, stop it! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you guys just watch his Elliot cast message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. I want to counterspell it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, I, think yeah, I mean, yeah, you counterspell it. it. Yeah. Stop antagonizing Excuse me? him. Why? What's so bad about antagonizing Malum? Hmm? Because What's he gave me a way that, that I could still get an A. He could give me an F. He could literally <laughs> give me an F. Well, okay. I mean, if he's not yeah. in this plane of existence anymore. 
He's still a teacher. You can't really, you can't really do I anything. I think he got fired. And, and so you found a way to get Sanctum Brute, then, for this damn potion. I will. I will, I will, I will, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe you. You're definitely gonna do that. As Malum's gonna start casting Send again. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Elliot? <laughs> That's what I said. Meliot. Uh, Meliot. Okay, and I, I want to specify, I cast a counterspell before our long rest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I figured you guys haven't long rested yet. Yeah, yeah. We have not. Uh, Lyra's going to set up the tiny thing. Great. It's okay, guys. I, I just told Malum that, of course, he insists on the potion, and that we'll make the potion after we save the, save the damn world from Rowan. All right? Okay. Is that okay? That's, yeah, that's fair. Is that's that fine? Fair. Yeah, that's Great. fine. What does the message actually say? <laughs> That, 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 and literally yeah. that. Um, oh, okay. Might have said some choice um, words about roaring in the process, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Called him the god of and, asshole. And... Hey, Rosie, uh, say you don't watch the other campaigns without saying you don't watch the other campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> I do not have time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Understandable. It's Even okay. It's odd, though. I don't think my thing is... Yeah. He didn't get back to me. He, he just didn't respond to that. Bitch, he's ghosting me. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, if you send antagonizing messages to people, at some point they're gonna not respond to you. He's no, like an old man, isn't he? Antagonizing... Look, you don't talk about my my <laughs> my soul shadow like that, okay? <laughs> Why is he your soul I, shadow? I Did still think, think Lyle was wrong. I, I, he I think was there. you misrecognized him. No. I definitely did not. Just, I think you're just ageist. Do all old men look the same to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I recognize our professor. I mean, I feel like if you spend a significant amount of time looking at someone, you're gonna remember them. Especially because, you know, Lyra is kind of traumatized by the experience of ruining that man's life. Yeah, How I mean, don't I didn't... His life was ruined. He did spend five years in prison, according to him, but, like, what? maybe he enjoyed it. Maybe he had a good time in prison. What? He... I'm not unlikely. You, you know, you never know until you try it, Elliot, really, you know? True. Have you ever tried prison, Lyra? Um. Your parents almost did, but, like... Okay. You... Uh, you're just gonna, you're just gonna hear just in your head, Elliot, from Guru. It sounds like your dad still is. All right. Do I have this hut set up? Then? You do. You do have this hut set up. Awesome. Also, I still haven't heard anything from Lady Dream Shadow, have I? You have not. Just so... getting ghosted left, right, and center. <laughs> Speaking of ghosting, uh, your mom still hasn't responded, so, you know. Maybe I just didn't go through. Can you send you another mean one? our mom? Yeah. Nope. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Elliot's jealousy our is showing a little bit there. Mother. Well, I'm sorry my parents are assholes. Um, I'm not. Yeah, well. Good for you. If your parents weren't assholes, you never would have been on this wonderful adventure. True. Yeah, well, well maybe it's just uh, yeah, Elliot's through. gonna send another message to, to Lady Dream Shadow. She's like, hey, uh, Lara wants to know if you're dead. Please don't be. Nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's not much else to say, you know? Mm. Please don't be dead. I mean, I feel like that's a sentiment for uh for several of our 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 families, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of, no, I guess, Elliot's asshole parents. Dead. How about you not be? Mm. Classic. 
Oh, all right. Um, did we complete our rest here, or? Uh, are you keeping any watches? Or are you all just going to sleep in this hut? Oh well, that's a good question. Um, Where's the hut? We just go. We can sleep. It's fine. We can, but it might We're be good a... to have someone watching out in case We're someone in like a boarded up house. Is someone gonna actually like it? Come looking. Could have some squad. Depends on whether the guards can detect magic or not. Or, I mean... or if certain people have a watch put on this house for certain reasons. Nah. <laughs> happen. If we're quiet, yeah, they... they won't bother us. <laughs> what are we gonna do if we're awake? They'll they'll, they'll show up and be like, "Ha ha." I see you, and I'll be like, haha, I see you too. I'm gonna wait for this long rest to end anyways. <laughs> Enjoy I guess standing unless out they, there. I guess unless they hid in between seeing us. I, I Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laying down in my little non-dusty tail-swept area. I guess for Lyra's you. gonna... Stay up for like a one watch, um, just writing in her little notebook. Alrighty, so Lyra, everybody around you goes to sleep, and you watch. You're watching through this hut as the door opens, and when the door opens, you realize you don't see daylight or night outside. You see what looks like a bustling police station. Oh. With a bunch of guards in armor, like, working at their desks. And a kobold in armor walks in, looks at the tiny hut, and then his eyes go wide and he slams the door again. Uh, <laughs> did I have a minute to cast? I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah. Elliot's right. That's the situation to deal with after I... <laughs> 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 Are you continuing to watch the door, Lyra? Um, yeah, and when my watch ends, I'm gonna wake someone up and say, so we're in a police station. Someone saw us, definitely. Uh, so, yeah. before, your, before your watch ends, you're gonna be able to see them come back, you're gonna be able to see the kobold come back with a couple dragonborn in tow, and the dragonborn are going to begin ritual casting to spell magic. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna wake everyone up. Um, guys, we have company. Oh, but I'm tired. I know. Can't we have company. We gotta in go. The we gotta explain ourselves to these people. They're, they're gonna dispel my stupid <laughs> tiny hut. Are we sure Nom? that they can do that? Nom's gonna know. open the door and go. Can we talk about this in the morning? <laughs> Please. <laughs> the, the dragonborn are just going to be so just shocked that they're going to stop casting their spell. <laughs> they're all just going to look at Nom. I'm assuming he just has his head poking through this tiny hut. Yeah. Yeah. One of them is going to pull out like a pocket watch. Look at it and go. You have six hours. All right, and then we come back. And then we come back in force. When no, we, well, we don't want any trouble. We'll come out. We're just tired. When you when you are ready to come out, just n lay down all of your weapons, knock on door. We will get set up. I'll give you a code knock. <laughs> I'll knock three times. I'll go. I'll go. And then and then that'll be us coming out. That is normal knock. Fine. I'll do a. I'll do a. <laughs> that is slightly less normal. You know, we'll just. <laughs> We'll just leave. Real, we will just leave. We will just leave Kobold posted here. You let him know when you are ready to leave. All right. I'm letting you know we got a big snorer in here. So if any of you guys are, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna head back to bed, and then I'm just gonna <laughs> come back and close the door. <laughs> from the in, from the inside of the tiny hut, you just see they put a small stool down, and then the dragonborn just sets a kobold on it and leaves the room. <laughs> and this kobold is just going to stare intently at this tiny hut for the rest of your guys' rest. I'm gonna make it opaque, because he's creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
when you make it opaque, this this tiny kobold that looks very similar to a gecko is going to walk up and start like climbing all over the outside, knocking on it, trying to like see what it is. <laughs> Like, as you, you get the knocking through it, is yeah, that wait, like can I? silent? Yeah, you guys can't hear the knocking. You just see him doing this. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Like, you see, like, as he's looking at it, he, like, licks his eye and cleans it off, and he just crawls <laughs> over to the next side and knocks again. Um, so d does nice. anyone want to take second watch, or do we not care? I mean, I we're mean, just we gonna can... watch this weirdo climb all over <laughs> yeah. looking at the weirdo. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, oh, Carl. Watch. It's been half a year. Alright. Nam is already just swamped over again. Yeah. I have a, que I have a question, Nam. Is just gonna... I have a question. What? How does Nam find a corner to sleep in in this round hut? I mean... Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. I mean, technically, no surface can be completely smooth. There's always going to be jagged edges, even at the microscopic yeah. level. <laughs> so. <A> microscopic <laughs> corner. <laughs> nice. I was just going to say you could curl up in the crook of my knees. <laughs> it's close to a corner as Nom can find. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, you guys finished your, uh, Elliot, what are you doing as this kobold is just, as he, you, you, like, get halfway through your shift, he decides that there's no way in, and he just goes and sits back in on his stool. Well, before he does that, Elliot's